Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Shockwave, in the booth with Frank, or Nathan, sorry, not Frank, Nathan Unbreakable. And we've got open bracket matches coming at you for tonight. The first one gonna be Cyber Bullies versus Apex Link, the European team. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting stuff. This is open round six, which is uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> open bracket's been moving pretty fast this tournament. Yeah, well, we were having fun on the main stage with the All-Star Classic, the big free-for-all, uh, free and the Stride Championship Series. There's been players battling it out all day today to get into the, the winner's bracket in this final bracket for the championships tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge match. It's real late tonight, so the winner of this should be able to move kind of farther up into the bracket, be able to play one of these pro teams, these uh, the 16, 15 seeded teams, in order to kind of move their way up. So a pretty important match yeah. for these guys. And of course, I mean, if you haven't noticed by now, there are no championship bracket matches tonight. It all starts tomorrow morning, because this is all about the fun night. You know, we have the All-Star Classic, we have the free-for-all, and now we get some open bracket, which we never get to see on the stream, so... I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, you know, we, we love seeing the pro players play, you know, the, the real good teams match up against each other. But you talked about it. We don't necessarily get to see too much open bracket at these events. And for some reason, I feel like the open bracket matches always seem to be the most exciting. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because, you know, you see the pro players every event, but it's these open player guys that, like, they got to start somewhere, just like everybody does. You don't just become a pro instantly. So it's nice to see these guys that you hear, like I've heard a lot of these names before, and actually see them play, and, you know, they might – be huge. They might go into the championship bracket. And it's nice to see winner six, you know, see where they can go from exactly. here. Exactly. And they're, they're getting some exposure to kind of the audience. A lot of people maybe not knowing who these guys necessarily are, especially the guys coming from Europe. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of the Europeans are going to know most of the players on this team, if not all of them. But for the American players, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different seeing these guys. It's kind of like in sports, you know, you get a nationally televised game for a smaller college, you can get better recruiting. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe these guys might be <laughs> thinking a little bit like that. Maybe it's time for them to perform, but I'm sure right now they're in the moment. They're just trying to move up in the bracket. Of course. And, of course, now that we're looking at the teams, let's run through the rosters real quick. On Cyber Bullies on the left, we have Prawn, Decliner, Faultline, and Foley. There's a nice shot of them right there. And then we go over to the right side with Apex Link. We have Fusion, Riots, Ramirez, and Reaction. That's a lot of ours. Yeah. That That's alliteration. <laughs> that is a lot of ours. And that is our European team. We, Pretty much the big name that at least I know for sure is going to be Reaction. He Definitely. was on power back in Halo 3 when power was actually breaking into the top 16 at the event. Mm -hmm. So we know that he's a solid player for, the, for us here. It's at least other guys, a little bit more unknown, but from what we've heard, they're some of the top European players. So we know that they're coming over here to compete, and they are very good. But on the other side, Cyber Bullies, Prawn Decliner, both of those players have placed very well. I think they've been in the, bre in the pools every single event mm -hmm. this year. Definitely. And I'm really excited for this match because, you know, you have, like, StarCraft, and you see all the Koreans and players from all over the country, or, sorry, all over the world, and it's so cool to see teams that come over from Europe to play Halo because most of it's, you know, North America and you don't see that much variety, but I love seeing teams that travel that far to come out and compete, so I'm really excited to watch this matchup. Yeah, we saw the East versus West Coast Halo matchup because we know it's kind of most Halo players within the United States are the only ones that can get to these tournaments. It's always great to see these European, saw the Australian team immunity a few mm -hmm. events ago. They may even be here, I'm not exactly sure, but it's always great to see those guys come overseas and finally make it to the match or to a tournament, but, you know, we're kicking it off with Fault Line from Cyber Boys in CTF Sanctuary. It's weird. This is the first match that really actually means something all <laughs> night. Actually, i got to correct you. This is Slayer. Oh, this Sanctuary. is Slayer. Yeah, this uh, is yes, the open bracket. Yeah, don't forget. We are playing Excuse open bracket me, game types. Sorry. I'm, I, you know, <laughs> I see the map and I immediately assume CTF thinking it's a five game series. What we see is it is Slayer and Cyber Boys opening up with a two to one lead here as Fault Line getting into the link base. And it looks like they're kind of going 